In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a half donut gauge chart where we have here the tooltip, but you can see here if I hover over here, there will not be any tooltip at all. And this basically helps us to measure a certain value here in this case, number 18 would be till this point here. So let's start to look how we can do this. So let's start to look how we can create a half donut gauge chart in Chart.js. So the first thing what we need is we need to have here the uh, border template which you can find on chartjs3.com getting started you can find this link as well in the description box once you're on here scroll down and copy this entire chunk of code copy this and if you wonder how this code is built up make sure you watch this video here that explains it all so then i'm going to paste it all in there and we'll cut this out then i will save that put the title in here save refresh there we are so the next thing what I want to do now is I want to convert it into a donut chart. So I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to say here, this will be the donut chart. Save that, refresh. All right, so we have this, but then what I want to do is I want to remove the scale because we don't have a scale in here. So there we are. Next, what I want to do is I want to uh, adjust the aspect ratio here or uh, the aspect ratio is basically instead of this square shape, I want to make it rectangle. So we're going to say your aspect ratio, we'll say here equal to two. So it's like a bar chart structure, which is a rectangle. There we are. Next thing what I want is to maximize the size of this. So I go up here into the chart box, 80%, save, refresh, there we are. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to make sure that we remove or we slice this pie or donut chart in half. To do this, we're going to scroll down here. And uh, what we're going to do here is basically in the options, we're going to say, yeah, the following is the maintain aspect ratio. What we can do here as well is the circumference of 180. If I save that, refresh, there we are, we have the 180. And then I want to rotate this 270 degrees. And why 270 degrees? Well, remember, we have here a full circle is 360. So I want basically this angle here, or this part of the donut ring start here. So that would mean I have to go here 90 degrees, 90 degrees, and again 90 degrees to have a 75% a of the circle. So let me just show you so you understand what I'm talking about. So I'm going to say here, enter, and then we're going to say here, uh, rotation. If I do here first 90%, 90 degrees, save, you can see it starts to move, but of course, now we still have to move another 180 degrees to get there. So we can say here, 90 plus 180 would be 270. Save that, refresh, there we are. So now we have this, what I want to do is I want to have a cutout percentage. We can put that here, we can put it above. Basically, you can do them both sides, although this would indicate that every data set will be uh, applicable. However, in our case, we only have one data set, so it doesn't matter too much. So what you can say here, um, let's say here the cutout percentage. Let's do that one first. Say here ninety percent to make it nice and uh, make the donut ring a bit more thinner or narrow. There we are. That looks quite nice. Next, what I want to do is I want to remove basically two colors or remove all the colors except for the red one and let's grab the blackish color here. I'm going to put that one in there and or remove all of those. If I save this, refresh. All right. Next, what we need to do is remove all the additional data here. So let's do it like this. And then we can remove even this label here. And that would not impact our, our donut chart here or our gauge chart here, basically. You can see here, we only have one here Monday, but we still have this tooltip here. And I want to remove this tooltip because basically what we are measuring with a gauge char chart in this case is this item here, whatever the Monday would be. And I guess this could be maybe the, the the temperature or the production level of a certain item. It could be anything. What I do want to do is I want to remove this item here because I guess this would have no value for us anymore. So in the options, I'm going to say comma and then I'm going to say plugins. Then I'm going to say here legend. I'm going to say here display equals false. Save that, refresh. That's number one. Next, what I want to do is I want to uh, adjust the coloring of our border here or basically of the black one here. I guess this should not be highlighted like this, but it should be like a grayish color. 
And maybe what you can do is the official gray color is 0 0.2, 0 0.2 or 102, 102. And I'm just going to duplicate this color here. There we are. Save, refresh. That looks slightly more better. So now we have this basically here, but the tooltip must show the correct value. So what I'm going to do here is the following. In here, the plugins, we're going to put in here now a comma after the legend and going to your tool tip and basically this will do is it will show the value of it of only one specific tool tip because we want to ignore this item here so how do we do this in the tool tip we're going to say filter and in the filter we're going to use a uh, item here in this case i'll just call the tool tip item and this tool tip item we're going to to uh, console log this to show you what exactly is going on here so it's a tooltip item save that refresh open developer tab and now if i hover over it you will not see anymore the tooltip but you will see the information and you can see if i hover over this red item here we see here monday if i hover over the gray one here it shows nothing because we didn't assign anything here but it does recognize the value which is in this case value tw uh, number number 12 that's the raw value or the parse value is 12 but what we can see here, this is data set index zero and specifically here data index or the data point index number one. That is correct. This is one. This is number zero. So what I want to do is I want to trigger it only if the data index would be equal to zero. So then this one will be triggered. Well, this one will be ignored. So what I'm going to do here, enter. And what we're going to say here the following, we're going to say return and then we're going to say here the tool tip item dot data index equals strict zero so basically if we return this item it should show us now the tool tip here let's go and do this there we are and if we go here you can see here it doesn't work at all or it doesn't trigger anything and this one it does and that's basically how you can create a very simple uh, donut or half donut gauge chart in chart.js if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to know, for example, how we can put in labels here at the outside, in that case, I'm going to recommend you this video here, how to create a donut chart with labels outside with connecting lines in chart.js.